Hello class, we're about to start section 1.2, place values, names for numbers, and reading tables. Section A, place value of a digit in a whole number. The position of each digit in a number determine its place value. The digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 are used to write numbers. Examples, please fill in the whole number 48,337,000 in the chart below. So we scroll down here. Now we look here at our place value. We start at the right and we move our way to the left. So this first zero is in the ones place. The second zero is in the tens place and the third zero is in the hundreds place. Now this seven is in the thousands, this first three is in the ten thousands, and the second three is in the hundred thousands. And finally, this 8 is in the millions, and this 4 is in the 10 millions. Okay, now we come to our vocabulary. Whole numbers are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and so on. The smallest whole number is 0. Example, set A. Find the place value of the digit 5 in each whole number. Now we go here. We have our ones place, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. So our answer here as far as the place value is ten thousands. Next, we're still looking for five. We look here, we have ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions. So five here is in the millions place. Now we go here to number three. Now we have the ones place and the tens place. Okay, now we scroll down here. We have section B. It says writing a whole number in words and in standard form. A whole number such as 5,869 is written in standard form. When we want to change a number from standard form to words, we use periods to help us out. Below is a chart that illustrates this. Now, let's take a look at these periods. Now, if you look here, the ones period includes ones, tens, and hundreds. The thousands period is thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. The millions period is millions, ten millions, hundred millions. And the billions period is billions, ten billions, and hundred billions. So now, let's take a look at this number. Remember, periods end after every third number going to the left. So we got one, two, three. This should have a comma. One, two, three. This should have a comma. One, two, three. And this should have a comma. Now, if we match this up with their respective periods, look what happens. We have our ones period separated from our thousands period by the comma. Our thousands period is separated from the millions periods by this comma. And our millions period is separated from our billions period by this comma. Now, it says, for example, the whole number one. 1 billion 800 sorry 1 billion 83 million 664,523 shown in the chart above is written as 1 billion comma 83 million comma 600 supposed to be 64,000 comma 523 notice that the ones period is not used when writing whole numbers each one of these periods end with the name of the period. We have billion, million, thousand, but there's no ones here. Okay, now, it says writing a whole number in words. To write a whole number in words, write the number in each period followed by the name of the period. The ones period is usually not written. The same procedure can be used to read a whole number. So now we need to write these numbers out. It says write each whole number in words. Now if we look here, number one is in a ones period, number two is in a ones period. 
So we know when we write out the word, we would not write the word ones at the end. So let's try this. Number one, that is 75. So we will write 75. Now we go to number two. We have 400. Ninety-five. Okay, that took care of one and two. Now we look here at number three. We have one million six hundred seventy-eight thousand two hundred fifty-nine. So we start off one million, comma, six hundred. 78,000, 259, and that is it. Now we scroll down here. It says, now we, now we will change from words to standard form. Now it says, write in a whole number in standard form. To write a whole number in standard form, write the number in each period, followed by a comma. It says, example, write each whole number in standard form. Now we have this number here, 56. So we will write 56. Number five, it says 7,000. 409. So we will have our 7, comma, 409. And that is our final answer. Now we scroll down here to number 6. It says 8 million. So we'll write our 8, comma, 524,000. So we will have 524, comma, 947. 947. And that is our final answer. Now we come here to section C. It says tables are used to organize and display facts that contain numbers. The table below shows the countries that won the most medals during the Summer Olympics in 2008. Now we scroll down here to our question. Okay, example set C. It says use the 2008 Summer Olympic table to answer each question. Number one, how many gold medals did Great Britain win during the 2008 Summer Olympics? Now the gold medal slot is the first one here. If we scroll this back up, Let's see I went a little too far with it. Let me scroll this down here. Okay now if you notice, gold is first, silver is second, bronze is third, and then the total medal count. So we want to know how many gold did Great Britain win. Now as we can see here, Great Britain won 19 gold medals. So we will put this down. For example, set C, we will put 19 for problem number one. So we will write 19. Now we go to number two. Who won fewer bronze medals than France? So we look here, we look up here for France. Okay, having a little technical difficulty here. Okay, so we scroll up here to France. Okay, now we want to see how many bronze medals did France have. It has 17 bronze medals. Now we want to find the countries that had less than 17 bronze medals. We have Great Britain. We have Germany. We have Japan, Ukraine, Italy, and South Korea. Okay, so those are the countries that have fewer 
bronze medals than France. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write that here and you can enter that in for your number two. So it'll be, we could say South Korea, Italy, Ukraine, Japan, Germany, and finally Great Britain. Now remember this answer goes to your number two because of the, um, the size of my screen I wasn't able to move down to number two and show the actual countries so write this in on your number two on your uh, worksheet I took the liberty of writing the uh, countries down here just so that you could see a visual representation of you writing it in uh, problem number two and that is it from uh, section 1.2